feel like Nimigazi gained the upper hand here, just because I I think this is more PSG Quest's wheelhouse. Maybe tier 2000, you know, you could say ends to like farming up a storm and being forced to play the game a bit more on Marcy. Maybe this is a little uncomfortable. But then you've got the noob tiny to cover. You've got the Malik Mars, you know, they're, they're very much happy in what they're doing right now. It'll certainly be interesting to see how, uh, how, how these go down. What kind of Dota each team are going to bring here. I'm feeling a lot of aggression, but will the teams be able to uh, to supply it? Same guy, see once again with the wraparound. This time around, their level one is uh, it exists, <laughs> unlike last game. They look, but then they they, they respect. Looking for a ward, and they found. Do you think there'll be a world where they just move the towers back just a little bit more so that you can't do the whole check tower provision and stuff like this? It feels yeah, like I mean, I always, the start to the game I is think... very scripted now. FBZ oh. is going to get called out quite badly here. The rest of the team just not in a location to really be helping them out. Lightning Storm going to bounce out across all of them. Really a storm in this situation, but unfortunately, the damage is too much onto FBZ. The slow stacking up and being able to take him down. Well, that said, they're going to return kill onto Omar at the very least, and it should belong to Samael as well, so it's quite nice. That's important. He's now only, what, like 70 odd away from a bottle. That will help Samael immensely uh, in this game. And when you look at Nygma's rotations, it really feels like mm. it's the supports that need to do the heavy lifting in the early game to give Sumo access to the stacks in the jungle. Like when we see Leshrac mids, he isn't the playmaker. He is a guy that chips down the mid tower, gets his ultimate, farms ancient stacks, farms his own jungle. So it, this game is so critical that the supports are able to free from their lane, set up the side lane course for success to then enable Sumo as well. Because if the side lanes go poorly, Sumo will be by himself, having to make his own stacks, have to do everything. And of course, Noob, his perception of the game will be, see that TP go for the kill, move around the map and already. It somewhat looks like nothing's really happened, so I can't really try and do uh, anything, but <laughs> they're farming. Right, I'm trying to try to milk out a bit of action here, but uh, yeah, the players not quite so uh, so eager. Oh yeah, their timings for sure, but uh, need a couple of levels going first before we start to see that action really taking place. But yeah, so much kill potential in every lane from both teams and to start things off. There's a glimpse out onto Omar. Power shot comes through as well. A lot of harassment coming through to the bat. I mean, with this level zero action, I, I, the level one action, I kind of feel like I'm favoring Nygma Galaxy on that one. Like sure you give away first blood, but it's an Io. Like what isn't, wasn't Io gonna do with first blood? And compare that to the kill on the less track. Yeah, sure, it's not first blood, but you basically most of the way to the bottle then. Straight out of the lane. It's bottom side. TA2000 taking some heavy hits here. FBZ. Trying to just deal with Ducalis instead. Matthew, he is a good hero in this lane. He's able to click away from the sidelines. No one's going to be able to stop him doing that. I apologize, no, but I am going to have to heavily disagree with you. Even though I got first blood, the thought of him getting closer to that bracer that he already has additional tango is one like everything small for an io in the early game is that burst of hill to give marcy even more time in the fight to give more like unleash opportunities so it's not the craziest maybe okay. on face value now but in three four minutes time yeah. because of that first cash injection you're going to see small plays that are amplified by it and yeah i think i guess the first blood for an io is also a first blood to an R to, to the marcy as well so yes exactly Poetic. Do Going deep for the glimpse back here onto Malik. Malik does get the spear back onto Miracle though to keep himself safe for now. So once again, aggressive moves from Nippy Galaxy up here in the top lane and first three starting to take damage. It does feel like uh, Omar's not really been able to do a whole lot in the top side. Bro doesn't want to trade with him. He doesn't mm, really get to lane. stay on top of anyone. Yeah. In like a core bat rider, we get additional levels. We'd maybe do a little bit more work, but the fact that Kuroki can always just glimpse you away. Bat rider needs to be on top of you. It's like the, the ranged version of a primal beast. You want to be as close in to the FBZ. Yep. Ooh, oh, that torrent very off the mark, and that will save nobody. 
Down goes FBZ. DA2000 grabbing himself a very key kill here in this lane, and this is a start to the IO Marcy lane you want to be seeing. And Zakalis did actually get the last hit again, so first blood and third blood going the way of the IO. And 600 gold in his pocket. Will he look to go for the mech rush? What's he buying? He is, yep, he's buying the one. So all the cheap items coming out and miracle. They're on top Dying of it. Up in the top lane, spears out on him, glimpse back, but unfortunately oh. the Batrider's still upon miracle. Not the target you want to be glimpsing there. And that does mean that miracle will fall. Now look towards Kuroki as well. Kuroki trying to get under the tower. Wand is there, but Malik is chasing. Spear comes through, finishes the job. Very nicely done from Quest Meal. Down to the bottom side, Matthew's on the run, trying to escape from TA2000 and from Ducalis, but they've got the dispos. They've got the damage. Disarm's not going to last forever. And Matthew will fall as well. Suddenly, 5-1 and one to PSG Quest in this laning phase. That was not the glimpse in top lane from Kuroki. He had a... In one simple choice, just glimpse back the bat right and get rid of that firefly level two on top of the mirror on top of window and instead he goes for Mars and as well in bot lane. Io Marcy, they have incredible move speed. And also the reason why Marcy is so good with Io, you always have a rebound target. You can keep that Tether alive, jump off the Io, get onto an enemy hero, drag them back, and yeah, it's really chase cool. that potential was insane. Nigma overstepping wow. their mark in bottom lane, misplaying in top lane, and of course PS PSG quest. Be very happy with these uh, small blunders that are coming out from the play, uh, laning phase. Are there any stacks at least? Okay, so Nick would just made some double stacks in the bottom jungle. They are starting to think about the the main game plan for the mid lash rank. It was something that I highlighted earlier. The supports from Nick, they need to be active to be able to then make stacks and provide lash rank. A good start to this game. Bottom side, FBZ. Should be okay here with the X marks coming down, but again, they're just forced out of the lane time and time again. FBZ is last hits are likely to start suffering from this. Goes back onto Malik. Malik though turns around with a rebuke, and now Omar gets upon Kuro. Kuro doesn't have a glimpse now to help himself out, but they do have a nice shackle to hold back the Bat Rider. And uh, Miracle Power Shot not going to connect, and now Kuro might be punished for going a little too far forward here. Gets up the Thunderstrike, but that's not going to make a difference. Will be another kill up in the top side for PSG Quest, but Miracle is going to get to hit some creeps for a while, at least with those heroes being so low. As uh, FBZ being jumped one here, Matthew comes across though. Well, it's a little explosion. Samael coming on through, but with Noob joining up to his team, forcing back Samael, FBZ, and Matthew with the uh, Avalanche. Very defensive ability. Bottle refill mid for some mail. Yeah, they're really just kind of not confident in just standing here with the edict going and trying to take down that tier one tower. He's chipping at it. He's poking at it. Ooh, they are jumping onto mid lane. Some mail. Getting beaten on down here, but time. not as quick as Omar is. Yeah, he just gets absolutely destroyed. No noob to help out with the toss, so they're able to get the kill. The minutes, Wisdom Runes. I think they just went one for one. Actually, the bottom one's still up, but uh, yeah, no one's going to go threaten that. I was trying to think what, what build the uh, PS, uh, sorry, tier 2000 would go on this. Uh... Okay, they're trying to poke Noob a little bit here. They have the glimpse the entire time, and he did miss the toss. Uh, he should be dead. Yeah. Yeah, he's gone. Nice. I was thinking That's a really big kill. Marcy yeah, Carrie, some mail's um... been chained up now a little bit. Yeah, he's been helped. So again, the supports, they made the moves. I think tier 2000, he's going for the Battle Fury. That will allow him to scale into this game. Okay. Here, I think like Battle Fury, Ags, BKB, MKB would be pretty cool with the Satanic, but Malik uses the arena. Arena, yeah, coming <laughs> down. They want to bring down the Leshrac here, but Leshrac has got himself a little bit of healing coming through with Jakar's flying on a cross. They are going to be able to finish off some mail. Kuroki looking in trouble as well. Can he deal the damage Power to Malik shot? before he falls? Power Shot catches him out. Very nicely timed. 
X marks plus the power shot coming on through. And now the focus fire out onto Omar as well. But Noob and Jakalis coming across. Will they be able to stop the Miracle just drive by Omar here? I'm not sure they will. Tree connects as slow as there. The power shot turns around. The toss forward onto TA2000 with the Unleash. And it'll tear through Miracle. The Nigma Galaxy carry taken out of the equation. Oh, that was pretty cool. It's like the, the Marcy's jumping on top of the Tiny, so then Tiny Marcy's jumping, then toss him further into the fight. And if yeah, Enigma, relatively good reaction there to, to get the double kill, but of course Miracle then has to, in such an aggressive position, will eventually go down. And E2000 of all heroes has to get the kill there, so oof. it is going to slightly uh, yeah. uh, uh, Enigma a little bit. But you can see the supports there with Sumel, they know he's the strongest hero on the map. I think the next move here is to go to bot tower. You want to take away the mid, the bot tower, remove the, the rotations from PSG Quest in their own uh, jungle, force them to tier two TPs and prevent them from just hitting their stride and farm. They weren't able to do it in the last game. And this time around, Nigma, they are they are punching up a little bit more. And yeah, they're, they're making that exact move there. They're smoked up. There's no vision here in the jungle for PSG Quest. They have scan available. It doesn't look like they're aware of it. They are just making their normal moves back to the jungle. Will they be able to find anyone? There is no static storm on Disruptor. There is no proximity mines on Techies. How badly do they find, need to find Ducalis here? Uh, they need to find someone and they found nothing. Oh, they have the yeah, X. Yeah, is coming on the side. The X is going to help out a lot. Tier 2000 trying to run him in circles here. Xmox does come down though. Samel ready to commit with the damage. And uh, they will be able to tear through the Marcy at the very least, but will they be able to get any revenge on the side of PSG Quest? Roshan coming through and just beating up Kuro for some reason. As uh, on the sidelines, Ducalis makes his way round the back of the pit. No safety there. Double kill for Samael. Samael really starting to get going in this game. Look at that net worth. Yeah. All because Malak just didn't have... Uh, wasn't really in position to help them out. And I think PSG Quest, that would be... A little bit upset that they weren't able to kind of predict that movement. It felt a little bit like forced from Nigma. Not forced, but expected. Like you shove scrappy. out midway. Yeah. Like you see three heroes mid, they're pushing out frantically. There's a smoke in the inventory. Like surely the, the natural move is to smoke to bot lane. I think other teams might have been able to predict that, but PSG Quest, very comfortable in this series so far. So maybe not, you know, hitting their, their best reactions, but for sure, Nigma, they are going to capitalize on that. Get the kills and... Yeah, continue to punish PSG Quest where possible. Early tier 1 towers are falling. And I think for me, what is FPZ going? So he is looking to go for the blade mail first on the Kunker. Of course, against Batrider, against Tiny. It will annoy them a little bit in regards to that initiation. But it doesn't really affect Marcy because of the amount of heal she can provide to herself with the IO on top. And there's going to be more of a Batrider deterrent than anything else. Yeah. The male hanging out on the bottom side, tier 2000 with Ducalis. Keep an eye, but obviously, you know, with this Battle Fury build, tier 2000 going to want to take things a little bit slower. Maybe not run into every engagement. Fists flaming, lungs screaming. So, yeah. Especially not that Leshrac, who is just so damn strong right now. And this is where the game gets awkward for me. Uh, for when I see, like, Nickham's hero pool. Because, like, early towers, they fall nicely. But you'd never really want to go towards a tier two with this lineup until you have two big items. And like the Windrunner, barely about to complete Maelstrom. Right? The the Kunker, mm. a Blade Mail. Like these aren't items that give you strength in living in the PSG quest side of the map. It's you kinda wanna continue hitting your own creeps, continue scaling just a bit more. And Sumel, we've rarely seen this from the mid Lesh racks, but he's gone straight for the Shroud. He's trying to brush off all of the early game damage of Mars, Tiny, and Batrider in the hope to give his team some presence in the fights. And if he gets found by Marcy, he will just get ripped down by the right clicks. And he's going to have to be careful. He's opted right. for anti-magic rather than a Yule Scepter potentially for disengaging the fight. Or just a straight yeah, BKB. Yeah, Yule's was something I was really expecting this game, especially because it just kind of gives you that ability as I was kind of getting jumped here a little bit, should just be dead, although getting over the cliff, making it awkward and forcing Miracle to come in and use a focus fire. But that's still for Omar. And... Uh, yeah, like, I'm not sure. I I feel like the Yules to follow up from this might be big. We'll see what he does end up the, going the for. Just being able to Yules and Marcy to kill the IO seems good. The Shroud will, will be fine if he brings oh his team God. into the engagement. And they're stealing such a massive amount Mega of stacks. Stack. So this is incredible stuff from, from Nigma. But like this Shroud build, when you buy this on Leshrac, 
you you're basically telling your team i want to be in the middle of the fights because in 10 minutes time when mars and marcy are able to do a little bit more physical damage same thing with tiny once he has an echo saber this build won't feel as good but in this window of the game if they can utilize it if they can throw leshrac in he should be able to last a little bit longer, but... Oh, man, he's noob, far, they're trying to set up himself. here. It's a big target, but of course he has just bought that Eternal Shroud. We'll see if it helps out. Big Arena on the back lines as well, catching out the three of them. Navy Galaxy in some trouble here. They need to find a way to fight back into it. Samael slowly, oh. but getting surely taken out of the fight. And it's a triple kill for TA2000, running through them all right now. FBZ and Miracle still trying to fight up into this one. They really want to finish off at least somebody here. Looking over towards Noob, jumping in, throwing in the damage, and it will be enough. FBZ does finish the job but it's a small small payment for a very costly fight oh uh, he'd have lived if he just didn't press toss he tossed him onto the blade mo and then there wasn't enough heal from the iron we we're talking about this less rap build what it can do and he kind of survived the start of the fight sure but yeah like i was a bit concerned about this marcy just enters in unleashes onto them and <laughs> they're gonna be deleted like, going Alex again for the reset down. though no yeah, glimpse. glimpse used, kinetic field yeah. used. It's not going to be enough. T2000 just rushing for the BKB. Only two components away, and how do you stop a BKB Marcy from from taking the fight? Sure, Windrunner can press Windrunner and just disengage, but everyone else in your team, if they show, if they get on, you know, jumped by this Marcy, they will be deleted. They need to keep applying pressure. They need to find a way to stall this out because right now this Marty is really farming up. Yeah, they're still trying to keep up that tempo, keep up the aggression, play on the other side of the map. And I they think they really want relative... to give over the timings. Like they're doing a relatively good job, right? Like if you look at the net worth, top four, three of them are Nigma courts, right? Like they are scaling into the game. It's... It's just they need a little bit longer to scale whilst a tiny to Mars, even if they don't have the best net worth, their initiations, that team fight in the first 20-25 minutes can be so disruptive with only you know, a blink dagger to their name. And that's why I think this yeah, net worth... If we were to somehow magic up a uh, impact to net worth ratio, then mm -hmm. I'm sure tiny and Mars would be kind of pretty pretty low down on that ratio. Meanwhile, something like a Leshrac or you know, a Nagasar will be really high up in that ratio where they need a lot of yeah. net worth to have their impact. Mm. Malik was going for a mage there. Further providing that, that front line. He's not rushed the blink dagger. He understands that his master is quite farm intensive and his tiny's already doing the initiation for him. Yeah, just a big direct answer to the, uh, to the Leshrac as well. The one problem they're having, he gets a direct answer to. Makes a lot of sense to me. Smoke up from Nigma. It's fair play to Nigma. They have done, outside of some awkward spell usage, their general map play has been much better in this game, right? Like they've identified the strongest here in their team. The supporters are making moves in the map. It's it's not as if they're all stuck back farming, you know, just waiting for timings to occur. They are trying to at least dictate a little bit of the tempo. It doesn't help that they've smoked into nothing a couple of times, but. You can feel like the initiative has increased from game one to game two. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they've kind of put themselves in that position where they drafted very aggressively and said, we want to play on the front foot. We want to punch forward rather than trying to dodge or defend. And so far, it's looked more comfortable for them, has to be said. As I said, it's always going to look comfortable when you have some supports which can make that happen for you. And Smell had a pretty good time mid as well, thanks to that. So it's all kind of adding up at the moment for them. But again, it's we haven't really had that game deciding fight yet. I think the closest we had to it was probably in the middle lane, which actually PSG Quest did get the upper hand on. So, I think fight for concern Nickel, there. Their game deciding fight will come when BKB is on Windrunner and Ags is on Kunko. Until then, they'll be poking as much as possible to force PSG Quest to overlap their farm. They get oh, the glimpse huge on the glimpse. And, Yeah. Yeah. Was a disruptor, one of the best counters to an eye in the game. You relocate in, you can glimpse him back. If you're trying to relocate out, you can glimpse him back in. It is one of the one to one best counters against disruptor. Preemptively, you can static stop onto the relocate as well. Finding noob, noob trying to go for the toss, but miracle just bouncing around him. <laughs> Very nicely done to completely dodge out the tiny yeah. spell. 
I mean, they're playing the map nicely. Like, they are buying the picks. They have division down. They're doing you know, quite a lot to, to get themselves to this point where they can fight. And, of course, Miracle with the Gleipnir is able to become a, an additional pick-off option for Enigma. The PSG quest, though, does feel like they are minutes away from wanting to be the aggressors they have. B could be soon on Marcy. Blink soon on the Mars. Like, that is going to be go time for them. And who most locally, whoever wins the next fight, if it is near the Rosh Pit on the Radiant side, Aegis will go to that team as well. Yeah, again, these uh, these deciding objectives are yet to really come to play. But so far, we got actually definitely getting the advantage over PSG LGD. And we're going to be looking for a BKB on Miracle, looking for Lashrek's next item. He's already just picked up this Kaya and Sanj, so it's a decent timing for him. Again, Still lacking in the kind of anti-physical realm, though Marcy still potentially could get upon this Leshrac in a fight and take him down with like one or two rounds of Unleash. That's always got to be considered here, but of course Marcy would really like the BKB before trying to do that, otherwise it is a bit of a suicide play. It's 200 gold away. I expect it to easily be able to delay that one out. The RTP top lane. Well, you say that. 10, Miracle immediately focus firing at the Marcy. Marcy, she doesn't really know what to do with herself. She's standing here. Heels coming up from the IO. Go for the TP away with the nice rebound. Mm. Matthew doesn't connect in time. Oh, the reload. Coming in and saving the day in the end. And uh, yeah, Marcy Farewell to will survive. IO. Salutes for the, for the IO. Yeah, the Carlos played that very well. He didn't panic press relocate straight away because, of course, any. Uh, any TP cancel will stop that relocate. The Gleipnir caught him at the start of the fight. He waited, and then when he knows the stuns aren't in play, he will then connect on the relocate at the very end. So yeah. some some IO players there would have instantly hit relocate to try and disengage, but respecting the fact that this Gleipnir is in play. Yeah, BKB is available. Oh, well, they instantly get a gem as well. So BKB timing with the gem. Arena comes out though. Kuro is caught inside of it, but he's also kind of caught inside the static storm as well. Tier 2000 with the BKB comes on in, looking at Samael, and here's the physical damage coming down onto the Leshrac, which he just can't fight into. Omar throws down the lasso as well. The Leshrac is gone. Get the oh, return kill to Malik, of course, but whoa, whoa, whoa! Miracle through the back lines, finds a kill with Matthew, and brings Ooh. down the Marcy as well. And Miracle gets another. Okay. No Leshrac, no problems. I mean, so far, all the doubters in the uh, in audience, probably, you know, in, in chat. I can't say audience, I try and say it, it just sounded so wrong. <laughs> Our off-camera conversation can't bleed into this one, but all the doubters, they're... Like, Nick, we're winning this game. Miracle, he's, you know, quietly pulling quite a shift. Other than that little bit of an overextension in mid to try and get an additional kill that killed him off, he has been sniping off the aggression of PSG Quest and... I think Marcy, her entry to the fight with this BKB, you know, contained inside that arena with that cleave of the battle here, it felt like the you know, more should be going down, but they just weren't able to rip through more than one hero. And yeah, Miracle just playing quite a stellar game so far on this wind runner. As soon as uh, he gets the BKB, only 100 gold away, it will give him even more confidence to to get on top of this uh, on top of this wind runner. Sorry, the, the Marcy. There we go. Marcy, yeah. Got there in the end. Yeah, there's a miracle effect, which, uh, you know, sure, tier 2000's able to just run in and kill the Lash, but uh, then the real carry comes out. So, back to the drawing board of Fort PSG Quest. I need to think of another way to take these engagements, which doesn't result in just getting run through by this Wind Ranger. But it's a problem with these dual core drafts. You know, you jump on one, you get killed by the other. I am surprised that PSG Quest were so like absent in their aggression. I expected with like, Winner being the carry, the Kunker not really having any farm from the offlane, I expected them to just seek out a couple more fights. But I guess tier 2000. I don't was... think. Hmm? I'm gonna say, I don't think I've ever seen a 0 and 3 noob tiny before. Like, yeah. ever. I, I feel like this like 3 minute, 3 20 minute window for PSG Quest was exceptional for them to be the aggressors. Like, Io can sync up with a Bat Rider with the lockdown of a tiny Mars and just keep poking down Nygma. But it never really happened and they just sat back. And because they sat back, it allowed Nygma to, to make these additional moves and it forced PSG Quest to have to think about their own timings a little bit more. But, you know, this is one of those things where 
maybe tier 2000s controlling the team a little bit more in this game he's saying i think you might lose the fight even if you're you have all the damage i'd rather secure my own game before you might lose it for me with your aggression it's hard to say Ooh, hard FPZ finds the bat gonna be an easy kill on to omar eventually Fort cutting waves can't do that around these parts sir another kill going to nib me galaxy yeah really waiting to see noob kind of enter the game he does finish off this bkb now he's gonna have that for the next engagement but uh, a long way off any sort of extra damage as uh, Malik forced to pop this arena to try and get away from Miracle. Miracle just got to follow him through the arena, out the other side, and just focus fire into his face. Yep, bulwark all you like, friend. It is over. Miracle on a mega kill streak now. Absolutely tearing it up on Wind Ranger at the moment. He's, he's having an incredible game, like we said earlier. Constantly finding the pickoffs, and it will further get better for him as he gets the Aghanims, even being more elusive. Reducing the damage he takes, getting that invisibility. And, yeah, Aegis and Sumo. Didn't really mention the fact that he went Kaya Sanji. He has not got the yours, but they're getting jumped. Don't forget, he has the Aegis, so he will have two lives here. Yeah, and Kuro's there just to immediately drop down the Static Storm upon him, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. Samel will be losing his first life. Can Wind Ranger get herself over here in time? And will FBZ be able to help out? He has got the Torrent Storm to work with. Gonna throw it on down here. Matthew jumping on in to help out as well. Blast off on top. Nuba going for the toss back the on tower. Smell. Trying to isolate him with TA2000. Allow TA2000 to do the damage, but FBZ comes through and now he's got the Glyphic coming out. Miracle with a focus fire brings down. No, the reload got the Marcy out, but everybody else on the side of PSG is just getting absolutely torn apart. Malik trying his best to hold his ground, but Ayo's about to come flying back in all by himself, so he'll tether up to the Mars and wait nice for the shackle. sweet release of death. Beautiful shackle coming out as well. Yep, Ducalis slowly getting ticked down here. Another kill for the Miracle as they take down everybody except the Marcy on the side of PSG Quest. Yeah, and the fact that you have this, like, because the Mars had to use Arena Bottom for Miracle's aggression, he then doesn't have the Arena for the top fight where if he was able to contain heroes underneath that tier 2, it probably is a completely different story and in tier 2000 he has to be so respectful when his fight starts if this window is able to lock onto him he can't take the fight he cannot kill off the marcy until he has like an mkb or some additional you know, lockdown to prevent Renoni just focus firing the entire time and quite an ambitious start to the fight with nigma using that ages in that way but it still leads them to winning the fight because it just allowed miracle to run all the way from bot all the way to top via mid it was Quite the journey for Miracle to get there in the end. Nice relocate from Takanas to at least preserve something in the fight. Lasso out onto Kuro and uh, yeah, Tier 2000 and Ducalis very quickly flying their way over to help out with that kill. Just dying on a bit of a warding mission. Hashtag just pause five things. Ooh. Don't forget, Fishy Quest did give away the gem, right? Like The entire vision game that they were trying to lean on was completely removed when E2000 fed it away after like 20 seconds of holding it. But Matthew has been thoroughly enjoying on the techies being able to just control the map a little more. Of course, another reason why Beast Quest hasn't been the most punishing team with the uh, aggressive heroes that they have. The map has been very dark for them. Yeah, it's been a long night. Still, I mean... <sighs> In silver linings, you managed to take the Aegis away. You forced the reset. It only cost you a lost fight in a tier two tower. It's it's, it's bad, but it'd be worse, I suppose. Guess she quest to get to stay around a little longer, but I'm not sure how much more they can make happen. I just don't know how much this Marcy can really do in the fights. How's the Marcy been for you? How's your Marcy been experience? Uh, rate it out of five stars, please. Mm. Two stars. No. Yeah. Just the fact that when I think of carry to carry matchup, pre MKB, we're not just demolishing what TA2000 is trying to achieve. At some point, that might overwhelm because, of course, Marcy with a MKB, some Daedalus Satanic, you are going to be an absolute raid boss. But right now, Miracle's got his number. He is not afraid to text him every single day. You up? No, he actually FaceTimes. What are you doing? Like, such more social pressure oh. to be able to answer that phone call. Yeah. 
have some PTSD if they're seeing the incoming <laughs> FaceTime call. I don't know. Unknown no number, like, what the hell is this? In the galaxy, heading down to the bottom lane right now. Miracle. Only one not really that close to them. Do you think up to the top side? Oh, cancel it. Run down to the bottom side. Meanwhile, the rest of the team just getting stuff done. Going for this tier 2 tower. And PSG Quest are not looking to contest it whatsoever. Miracle's even having to show himself mid. He's, he's completely fearless in this game. Whole team showing bottom. He shows mid. Knows that no one's going to jump him. Knows that they're not going to jump a team bottom. And if they do, he can get there in time. So, yeah, it kind of just shows you what kind of position Navy Galaxy are in right now. It makes sense for his positioning. Because he's telling PSG Quest, like, if you want to go jump my team, and I'm showing mid, I'll be there in, like, around 10 seconds, right? If you're playing in the middle of the map with Windrunner, you can be in any part so, so quickly because of that Windrun. And I don't think Miracle wants to be the one starting a fight unless he's finding some IO or Batrider who's isolated. Because he, his main yeah. goal is to focus fire this this uh, this um, Marcy, sorry. Marcy. If you don't focus fire the Marcy, you're, you're losing the fight, but the fight's going to be relatively Ooh, it's difficult. a good target, but the follow-up's not really there for the Navy Galaxy. A little bit split as uh, up at the top side, they're actually going aggressive here. Wind Ranger trying to set up onto Malik here. Miracle just trying to bring down the Mars. Mars forced to BKB, but still the right click's just coming on through from the wind. It's taken a long time to kill him, but he will eventually fall. Me on TA2000, unleashing in the middle of the fight. BKB, everything being used to try and bring down FBZ. FBZ, they're so damn tanky. The Mars, gets dragged away by the relocate, and they will leave Noob for dead. So it will just be the two clean kills for Nygma Galaxy. Very ambitious there from PSG Quest, right? Like they're trying to utilize the relocate. They're trying to maybe go on a win runner who is being a little bit greedy on the map, right? But this greed is not getting punished at any point. They don't have the lockdown for Miracle. They don't have the, the damage on her. And it's like they have an arena, but the spear BKB is still in place. So it doesn't do anything. And he joins the fight at the very end whilst Marcy's getting relocated out. Like Marcy just does not do the damage right now. She doesn't do anything. It's, it's super very underwhelming. Absent, yeah. Like I and Marcy's a is a combination that from laning phase you just keep going forward on the map, but they've not been able to go forward at all. Every time they've gone, they've just been picked apart by Sumo standing up front, buying enough time, the control of the Kunker, the glimpse backs of Disruptor, and yeah, PSG Quest. <laughs> Very surprised, but you know, happy to say it because it means we're gonna have a more than three games in this grand final, most likely. Hey, oh, it's looking like it's headed that way. That rider that. getting completely caught out there by the reactions of Kuro, stopping the uh, the flame lasso from coming out. Now FBZ can look to finish off the job here. Trying to go for just a cheeky solo play and maybe could have set Noob up for something here. We still yet to get a kill on this tiny, which is again absolutely mind blowing for me. I, Noob has been such like a consistently good mid laner for me. Every time I see him, he's, he's always, you know, getting stuff done. But this game completely shut down. Rotates the pawn in the early game and then just shut out entirely. Bottom side, another day, another focus fire. This time looking at the Marcy, the enemy carry just being run down. Miracle, he's not stopping, but maybe he should. The arena is out and that'll be Ooh. enough to force back the Wind Ranger. But man, he forced out so much with that high ground push. And now some mail. The doors have been opened. The red carpet's been laid out for him, and he's gonna just stride right up onto that high ground. The miracle is just playing so aggressive this game, and maybe at some point he gets punished, but for now, Omar, he oh, blinks Omar. in, and he doesn't find anything. Oh, blocked Miracle's by the trees. The vision just Ooh. not working out right now. PSG, they got a bit fruity with it. Tried to go for some Io Marcy, fancy schmancy, cool combo. Would love to see it work, but at the same time, concept just doesn't seem to have pulled out, pulled, pulled, really provided any sort of substance for them. I mean, the Marcy's actually done okay. It's 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 mostly the tiny who's really struggled to have an impact this game. And Dukala is going to try and get away. The right clicks won't be enough to finish the job. Io lives, but uh, Tiny will not. Another death for Noob. Oh, that's a big glimpse. X glimpse. <laughs> they catch him with the torrent as well on the way through, so extra star points for that one. Something with the torrent, then glimpsing me even further back. And uh, top side, I, I think Miracle might kill this Mars again for like the eighth time in a row. Here we go. Folks, fire and cooldown for one more second. Shackle missed. Will it cost? 
Malik goes for the TP away. Miracle moves around the back, but it won't be enough to finish the job. Meanwhile, inside the enemy base, buildings are falling. They certainly are. Edict do be an hell of an ability, although Omar comes in last. So comes out. Arena is there as well. Every being thrown onto this left track. They know that Miracle is nowhere to be seen, but Omar's the first one to fall here. The damage from the left track is still pretty darn severe, and they are not doing enough to finish the job here. Tier 2000 is going to fall. Malik's going to go down as well. They look over towards Omar. Omar getting away, but the GGs are called. The game goes to Nigma Galaxy 1 1. Okay, all right. After that game one, it didn't look too promising for Nigma Galaxy, but this second game, of course, 